What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. And one thing I hear all the time is, hey, we got all these cool new Makita tools in Japan, but why do they take so long, upwards of a year, to get to the United States? And even other tool reviewers like Tools and Stuff out of New Zealand, he gets a lot of the stuff within just a few months after being released out in Japan there. So that's a great question. And one there's not a very clear answer to, unfortunately. So if you look at the Makita Japan webpage here, they're at about 60,000 followers. Um, and you look through, there's so many cool new tools here. Um, now, you can't really buy them here. You, you can buy them from like Amazon Japan or a reseller or eBay. The problem is, is there's no warranty. Of course, you can't really return them. Um, you're kind of just stuck with the tool once you get it, and there's not really any repair parts. There's no service centers here for that kind of thing. It's just, here's the tool, there you go. Hopefully it keeps working. But not necessarily a bad thing. If you really want the latest tools, that's your only option to really get them, unfortunately. Um, but if we look at a Statista here, they have the uh, 2022 um, net sales distribution for Makita. Quite surprising numbers here. Whereas Europe is almost half of all Makita sales is going over to Europe. But what's really surprising here is Japan has more sales than the entire North America region. Now, North America being, of course, Canada, Mexico, USA, being the three largest countries there. Now, Japan is still beating them, or beating uh, North America by 0.8%, which is pretty surprising. So I was curious, the population of Japan is 125 million right now. Whereas the population of just the USA, not counting Mexico or Canada, is about three times that, or just under three times that at 331 million. Pretty interesting there to see just how much smaller a market Japan is, yet there's significantly more sales of Makita tools there. Um, now, if we look at the population of Europe, which is going to be basically half of every single tool sold in Makita goes to Europe, there are more than three times the population in Europe than there is in just the United States. So, of course, that makes sense. Now, I was kind of digging into this a little bit, and, of course, I contacted Makita, and Makita doesn't respond. They really don't respond to really any of those questions. Even Makita's stance on like new tool suggestions is we don't take new tool suggestions. And that's about it, unfortunately, from Makita. So there is nothing really you can do there. Now, so what I found interesting was is, like I mentioned, Makita Japan, which is going to be a larger market for Makita, only has about 60,000 followers on Instagram. Now, if we take Makita USA, which has 710,000 followers, which is pretty huge, um, if we were to combine that with Makita Canada, 157,000, and Makita Mexico, which are gonna be the three largest countries in North America, that's giving us just under 900,000 um, social media contacts there on Instagram alone. So pretty interesting to see that they do have a large following. I'm just kind of wondering why the sales aren't really there. Now, of course, Makita is sold primarily here in the U.S. Um, in store, in Home Depot. Of course, there's many, many places to buy it online. Acme Tools, um, Tools Up, plenty of places out there for that as well. Now, it's about 900,000 um, followers on Instagram, which is pretty awesome there. Um, and of course, like I was mentioning before, Home Depot is going to be there primarily in store, which is also the largest big box store for home improvement, which is pretty cool. So I'm wondering what these are, what's going on there with the sales. Is it the advertising? Um, or is it Makita maybe just saying, hey, we don't want to push too hard against Milwaukee DeWalt. They're already the biggest tool brands out there uh, when it comes to just overall size. Um, you know, Milwaukee is owned by uh, TTI. Uh, Dwell's owned by Stanley Black & Decker, which those are much, much larger conglomerate brands than just those brands alone. So there could be many factors there, of course, why we're not seeing such a large market share here. Um, and of course, you know, if you got the big three, Milwaukee, DeWalt, they're kind of always trading blows there. But Makita is pretty well known as kind of being in third place there for those big three um, top tool brands there. So it kind of doesn't really surprise me there too much. Um, just the one thing that I found the most surprising was that Japan is still a larger market share than North America, which North America just having a, such a significantly larger population, which of course large population generally means a larger amount of construction happening, which would then in turn mean a large amount of tools are needed to keep that construction work going. 
So I'm kind of curious there. I, of course, Makita did not reach out back to me on uh, kind of some questions I had about the market share there. Um, and then Europe, of course, just being a huge market for tools as well. Um, I'm kind of curious as to why that market share is just so massive other than just population alone. Um, I kind of feel like Makita maybe just focuses more on the European markets than they do on the U.S. and North American markets. So guys, that's about all I had. There's not really that much information out there as to why North America is such a small marketplace for Makita. Of course, not the smallest. We have Oceania, Asia, uh, Central and South America, Middle East, and Africa. And of course, Asia, that would maybe include like China as well. I'm surprised that market share is not much, much larger, uh, especially in China, just having such a large population there. Um, and being you know so, so close to Japan there, um, being able to export and import the tools there would also make sense to me. Um, but that's kind of interesting to find out there just how much market share and where that all goes with Makita tools. So guys, that's really all I had for you today. Leave me a comment below what you think. If you got any input as well, I'd love to hear it. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.